Okay, so we've been talking about how antibiotics are not really ever the solution for dental disease. Now they can help, you know, if we have a sinusitis, if we have an infected tooth that we are extracting, sometimes we'll use antibiotics before the surgery or perioperatively around the time of the surgery to help control a secondary infection. It's important to realize that these infections are secondary. Um, and But antibiotics on their own are not, they don't fix dental disease. They don't fix dental fractures. They don't fix pulp infections. They don't, uh, they don't fix any of these issues. They're just used to kind of control the level of bacteria. So it's never a long-term solution. It's very important to, to understand that. Um, we'll show you a really good case here that we just got done working on. So we can hear, should see on the occlusal surface, there was a little chip fracture here, but the pulp looked like it was sealed. Um, and, but the horse had a history of sinusitis that did respond to antibiotics. And uh, we examined the horse a little bit closer. We're really worried that this tooth could be causing a problem. This here is what we've artificially cut, but um, so radiographically, we'll show you here, the x-rays look pretty normal. So this is the tooth in question here, and that's actually pretty normal. Here's another view of the palatal side. That all looks pretty good. You could maybe say there's a little lysis there, but it was similar on the other side. And so we did a CT scan on this horse because we're really suspicious that this pulp could be open and causing the infection that then led to the sinusitis. And here's what the tooth looks like after we extracted it. So you can see this little chip is missing. And then look at this pulp is really necrotic. It's completely black and gangrenous, totally infected. You can't smell it on the video, but it smells really, just really terrible smell. And so when you have this degree of necrosis um, of a tissue, the, there's nothing antibiotics can do. The antibiotics where there's blood supply here, they can kind of help quiet this down. But this is all dead. Um, and so there's bacteria brewing and reproducing in here um, and extending their way out. But antibiotics do not get into this region. So really short of potentially endodontic uh, treatment may potentially work. Uh, but in this case, we opted for extraction. Um, that's the treatment. Now, whether or not we use antibiotics around the time of the surgery, that's going to depend on some things. In this case, we are because the horse has a history of sinusitis. So we're going to put it on a little bit of antibiotic. So again, for things like uh, dental infections, keep in mind that antibiotics are just something that we use to control the infection. They're not the treatment. Um, this is a really good case to show how also subtle lesions in the mouth can have uh, look much worse towards the part of the tooth that we can't see. So teeth are like an iceberg. And what we're seeing is just the tip of the iceberg, but the part below is much bigger and has much more going on. And so that's where advanced imaging like CT can be really helpful.